I can guarantee you that one or potentially both of the following things will happen in your Procreate future. You created an artwork in RGB, but actually now you need it in CMYK or vice versa. Or you create a, a document in a really high quality resolution and you find that the exported version, either the JPEG or the PNG, is too large to upload it where you need to. So you need to reduce the resolution or the physical size to get that file size down. These are common problems and I'll be straight with you. Both of them can be solved much easier in other programs, but I'm not here to talk about other programs today. I wanna to talk about Procreate. Please resist the urge to comment below about how much easier it would be to do in another app. I am well aware of that and if you know about it, please go ahead and do it in another app. But I know a lot of people only have Procreate on their iPad and they like to know workarounds so that they can use it for times like this. So that's what I'm going to talk about today. So I'm going to show you how to do this if you've got a completed design and you want to change the color profile or the dimensions. I'll also be showing you how to do this midway through your design so that you can preserve those layers. I have this design which was originally created in RGB format. I've decided I want to switch to CMYK to print it out. If you can't remember what color profile a design that you've already made is, you can find all the canvas information by going up here to the wrench icon and then just choose canvas information under the canvas panel. So you would then go to color profile on the left here and it'll show you what the profile is. Don't worry about all the strange numbers, but you can see it's in RGB format. If you're finished editing your artwork and you simply want to change the color profile, you can create a document exactly the same size as the other specs and just change the profile part to CMYK. Another thing to point out before we do that, if you can see here on the gallery screen, just under the file name here in tiny text is another place that you can see the, the size. So this says 3000 by 3000 pixels. Right, so let's create a new document now by tapping the plus in the top right corner. And then we wanna tap that icon next to new canvas here with the plus. So the document that we want to make an exact copy of is 3000 pixels square. So we enter that here, 3000 width, 3000 height. If you wanted to swap the units and enter in millimeters, centimeters or inches, you can just choose these buttons on the left of the keypad here. And then the DPI here is set at 300 DPI and we know that's what we want. Remember we were making the exact same specs as the original and we had checked that in the previous canvas information screen. Okay, now the important one, the color profile. So you tap on that in the left hand side here and you'll see you can move between the two profiles of RGB and CMYK at the top. So I'm going to move to CMYK here and don't get worried. There's all these different profiles to choose from, but don't worry. The first generic one is completely fine. Just hit create at the top right. Now you could move the design into this new file in a number of ways. If you have already finished the design in your master file, I suggest creating an exported PNG image of the RGB version and then import that into this new document. The other way you might think to do it is to flatten the image in the original file and copy and paste that. While you could do it this way, there's a very real risk that you would lose your layers because you would flatten the image and then copy it and you'd automatically want to just move into that new layer to paste it. But as soon as you leave a document in Procreate and go back to the gallery, it auto saves your place. So there's no going back after that. And undo doesn't work once you close the file. So that's why I say you better to export the design from the original file because you always want to try and keep that master editable. Let's do that now. Choose the wrench icon and then share. And then under this share image section, just choose PNG. And then I'm going to save to the iPad. Okay, so we're going to go into the new document. And then I'm going to choose from the wrench icon under the add panel, insert a photo. And now I'm going to choose the design here. And now we've got our new file in the CMYK document. 
So the color of the design itself didn't change much when we pasted it into the CMYK file, but I suggest you export a PSD file. So it's not showing any major color changes in Procreate, but you'll see quite a difference once you export the PSD. So for comparison here, you can see this first image is the RGB version and this second one is the CMYK version. The color difference is quite obvious now. The tone is more muted than the RGB version. And we can look at the printout here. It's a lot closer to that exported PSD. So I recommend saving out the design file for a better idea of how the color is going to be affected by the conversion. What if you weren't finished the design and you still needed to keep those layers intact in the new CMYK document? So remember, I'm talking about how to do this using only Procreate. As mentioned earlier, other apps might handle this scenario better, but I'm showing you the solution for using Procreate on its own. So in that situation, you would go ahead and create the other canvas exactly as we did before. We know it's CMYK. Next, you would go into your original file, that's the RGB version. So I know I want this background color to be the yellow, so I'll start there just by going into my document. I'm going to hold on the screen so I can pick up that color that's automatically picked up in my color circle there now. And if I move into my new document, create a new layer, just tap the plus on the layers panel and drag your color circle into the canvas and you'll see it fills with that color. So I've got my background, I can carry on and copy and paste the other layers. And you would tap on the first layer here. So I'm going to open the layers panel and just tap on this first layer here and choose copy. And then I'm going to move into my new document and then three finger swipe on the screen and choose paste. So Procreate will position the layer exactly as you had in your original. I can demonstrate that actually in a more obvious way. So I'll go back into the design here and I'm just going to use this flower stamp from a pack that I'm working on at the moment. I'm just going to print that down in the bottom right corner here so you can see that it's over to the right and we'll be able to tell if it's pasted in the same location. So I'm going to do the exact same thing here. I'm going to go to that layer, tap on it, choose copy. I'll go back in to my new document three finger swipe and paste. And you can see that's pasted it in exactly the same location. So that'll work just the same for all the rest of your other layers. So how easy or time consuming this step is will definitely depend on how many layers your design has. One important thing to note is you will lose any opacity or layer effect settings. So it will paste the layer at full opacity and you'll want to keep it, if you want to keep it exactly the same, you just check what opacity, what transparency setting you had just by tapping the little N here and then opening it. And you can see I've got the opacity set at 23%. So now I can go back into my new file and make the opacity the same. Also, you can't copy and paste a layer mask as well. So you'll need to reapply the mask with the, the same selection and also the same with any clipping mask settings as well. Great, so now we ha know how to change the color profiles, but what about that second scenario I mentioned, if you wanna reduce the file size? In that situation, you can do a very similar thing that we did before with the color profile, but this time you can try the document with a smaller resolution and a smaller physical size. And by reducing these two settings, you'll also reduce the size of the exported file. And as we looked at before, it'll be easier to do this from an exported version of the master file. So you just have that one layer to import. And you always want to keep that master file at a good high quality and completely editable with all those layers and layer masks, etc. But first, how do you even know what size the exported file is from your original? So remember we were saying exporting from that original as a PNG. How do you know what the file size was to even know it's too big to send via email? So earlier we looked at the canvas information in Procreate, which told us the Procreate file size. But that's not going to tell you the size of the exported JPEG or PNG. So once you've saved your file to your iPad, you can find it in the Photos app here. So you click on the little I and you can see under No Camera Information, it tells you the pixels and it tells you it's one megabyte. So that's a PNG image of one megabyte. 
Now that file size is going to be fine, but just in the scenario that your exported size is too large to use for whatever reason, you're just going to reduce those settings. So we can just take a quick look at that now. Create a new canvas and you want to keep the proportions the same. So my original was 3000 by 3000 pixels. I'm going to reduce that to 1080. And I'll take the resolution back to 150 dpi. So I'll go into my new document, I'll go to the Add tab and I'll choose Insert a Photo, choose my design and Procreate has sized it at that new size. Now I want to export so I'll just go to the wrench again and choose Share and I'll choose PNG. So if I choose Save Image that'll save it locally to my iPad. So let's take a look at what that is. They look exactly the same but just tap on the second image and then go to the I information and you can see here we've gone right down PNG and it's 317 kilobytes and that just shows that by reducing both the physical dimensions and the resolution I was able to get that file size down smaller. So I hope you found this useful. This is definitely something that you're going to encounter when you're working with high quality artwork, but now you know exactly how to deal with it. Before you go, if you're interested in a handy cheat sheet for Procreate, just check the link in the description below and you can download this just as a quick reference guide for gestures in Procreate, as well as layer functionality and how to install brushes from scratch. Anyway, thank you for joining me for this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you like, and I'll see you next time. Bye.